Welcome as you join us in an exciting Dominion Power Kingdom Experience Holy Spirit Authority Pack session brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center and Forbes Global. Now, as you join us in this online Kingdom of God seminar now in progress with God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Heaven, Joseph Forbes, we are transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. You cannot translate nor interpret the Holy Bible without you going through a kingdom concept. If you translate or interpret the Holy Bible and you do not go through a kingdom concept, all of your results will become error. <laughs> Today's session is Revelation of the Kingdom Part 1 There are three Kingdom objectives I want to speak to them in alphabetical order First objective is Word of Knowledge What is knowledge? Knowledge is information. In other words, it's information from the original source. Two, word understanding. What is understanding? It is comprehension. Three, word wisdom. What is wisdom? Application. How do you function in knowledge, in understanding, and wisdom? First, you get information. Do you not know that the information will never benefit you until you understand why wisdom is the supreme why you can have knowledge understanding and not apply it the utmost goal in life is wisdom kings judges rulers by wisdom, they run their management, they run their businesses. The important goal in life is understanding. Please, write this down. Revelation of the Kingdom. Join me as you turn with me in this seminar. Kingdom of God seminar to Matthew 13 13 and KJV. Therefore, I speak to them in parable. Now we go to the message in progress. Matthew 13 1 to 3. I want to give you an education you'll never forget. I want to show you from the scripture where Jesus Christ was in a seminar and never had a song service, never praise and worship, started praise and worship, never had a ritual. On that same day, Matthew 13, one Jesus went out of the house set by the sea great multitude were gathered together to him so that he got into a boat and sat 
is also that when a master teacher teach, he sit down. And the people who are listen to him stand up. He take a seat. That means the seven all began. And the multitude stood by the shore. Third verse. And he spake many things to them in parables. This is what's called Jesus Christ Seminar. Please look at Matthew 13 too. You will see in the session great multitude made large crowd of people came by the sea. Jesus got in a boat and said large crowd of people stood on the shore. Jesus Christ spoke many things to them in parables. He began to teach them in parabolic language. What is parabolic language? It, it is a style of teaching where you hide the truth from the listeners that can discover it. Do you not know? The purpose of the parable is not to tell the truth but to hide the truth. Why? Because nothing is yours until you possess it and discover it. Nothing, no matter how much information your bishop have or your pastor possess, it's not yours. It's only yours until you possess it and discover it. Information will never be yours until you personally discover and possess it. Matthew 13, 10 and KJ we and the disciple came and said to him now notice it didn't say the church member or your believer and a disciple the word disciple is an academic word Jesus Christ conduct a school of thought John the Baptist had a school of thought they had student and disciple means student and they came to him with a question why do you speak to them in parabolic language or why do you speak to them in parable and he answered and said to them because it has been given to you to know now remember talk about the wisdom knowledge and understanding it has been given to you to know understanding the mystery the secret of the kingdom of heaven wow but to them has not been given to the multitude I do not want a large crowd I only want students global diplomat college said the vision is transforming students into leaders and leaders are the agents of change I don't want spectators and people that come for fun or come to see what's happening I want students who will learn and train why do you hide the truth to them he hide the truth that you want to share in the parable symbolic symbol answer he said to them knowing the knowledge what the knowledge 
and the secret of the kingdom of heaven had been given to you students who pay tuition many the crowd want free stuff I ministered for years on YouTube and you never even support global send an offering or send a tide or send something to spread the good news of the kingdom of God and you give your money to people who are not preaching the truth. Students who pay tuition, who left their family, leave their job, their business. Maybe they be a barber or electrician, or maybe they be a construction worker, or they be a painter, or they be a, a truck driver, or they be fishermen, they leave their job. And they came to the seminar and they paid the tuition. Many crowd love free stuff. They love to be entertained. In the 21st century and the 20th century church, love to be entertained, love to laugh, love to, to pass the stand up as an entertainer, as a comedian. They don't want truth. Wow. Am I clear? They left family. They left mama, wife, and children to come to the seminar. Do you not know that in the seminar, Jesus will give you truth? Do you not know people who just want to have a good time? Matthew 12, 12, and KJ, we. For whosoever has to him, more will be given. A lot of people say, I know the kingdom. You need to become a student to know the kingdom. Whosoever has, if you got it, whosoever has to him, more will be given. And he will have abundantly. But whosoever do not have, even that which he has will be taken away from him. So you hear a kingdom message with myself and Miles Monroe and other ministers who minister in the kingdom teaching. You hear a message from these ministers and you say, no, I received the teaching, but you not even sit under them. You not even being partake of this seminar. And you know, we partake of the ministry. But you know the kingdom. The kingdom of God is not a church. The kingdom of God is from God. The kingdom of God is of God. Now notice, it's called the kingdom of God. I will define it as we go through this seminar. Remember. Therefore I speak to them in parable because seeing they do not see. You know, folks been preaching and in church for 40 years, 20 years, 70 years, all their life. And all they heard is the Baptist doctrine. All they heard about Catholicism. They never hear the message of the kingdom. The only message Jesus Christ preached. Wow, whosoever do not have, even that we have will be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parable, because seeing they do not see. You know, I, 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 I teach this to sinner, and automatically he comes to Jesus. For therefore I speak to them in parable, because seeing they do not see, hearing they do not hear, they do not hear nor understand and in them in the 21st century church Christians believers in you your is the prophecy of Isaiah the prophet being fulfilled hearing you do not hear and shall not understand 
king of the North Sea, not preserve that the people have grown dull. Their eyes are hard, their ears are hard of hearing. Their eyes, they have closed their eyes. Many Christian believers around the world, religion is the greatest and largest church on the planet. They have closed their eyes, lest they will see with the eye, hear with the air, and I understand with the heart, and turn, and I will heal them. This is the only message Jesus Christ preached. Matthew 4, 17. Jesus defeat the devil in the wilderness. Victory! And he began his first public inaugurated message. From that time on, Jesus began to preach. Question, what did he preach? He addressed the mentality of the mind. This Kingdom Seminar has been brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center to all the ambassadors in the embassy centers. Matthew 24, 14 declares, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, then shall the end come. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. We want to thank and appreciate all our subscribers and viewers all over the world. Thank you so much for being partners with us in proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to this channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and click that notification bell for the update videos. God bless you and your families. God bless all the nations of the world. Glory to God alone, King of kings and Lord of lords.